Hi. I've recently started to shoot uh, USPSA, uh, United States Practical Shooting Association. And uh, in the time leading up to my first match, I did, a, I did a lot of research and reading. And although I found a lot of really good information online, uh, I didn't find it all in one place. I kind of had to piece it together for myself. So I figured that I would put together a uh, short video series uh, kind of condensing everything that I've learned uh, for the beginner. I figured that a good place to start would be the uh, USPSA uh, divisions. Uh, the divisions break you up according to what kind of gun you shoot. Uh, the reason for this is so the beginner that's shooting a $500 gun isn't competing against somebody that's shooting a $5,000 gun. Uh, there are six divisions. Uh, the one thing that all the divisions have in common is there's a minimum caliber requirement, which is a 38 caliber or a 9 by 19, uh, most commonly referred to as the 9 millimeter looper. Uh, there are six divisions. They are open, limited, limited 10, single stack, a revolver, and production. Uh, the open division is the $5,000 gun. Uh, commonly referred to as a race gun. They're either uh, very, very heavily modified production guns or they're custom made. Uh, the major and minor power factor apply to the open division, although I will get into the power factors uh, in a later video on scoring. Uh, in the open division, you also have uh, muzzle flip compensators, you have uh, optic sights, uh, red dot or holographic, you have unlimited magazine capacity, and I've seen them as high as 22 rounds. Uh, in the limited division, uh, you're not allowed to have custom guns, uh, they have to be production guns with a uh, 500 uh, units made or more. Uh, the two biggest differences between open and limited is in limited, you're only allowed to have uh, open sights, no optic sights, and you're allow not allowed to have uh, muzzle flip compensators. Uh, everything else is about the same, uh, unlimited magazine capacity, uh, major and minor power factors. Uh, the limited 10 division is almost identical to the limited, except your magazine capacity is limited to 10 rounds. Uh, the reason for this is California. In California, your maximum magazine capacity is 10 rounds. So um, this division was made so people that live in California or other states that have this cap uh, can evenly compete against everybody else around the world. Uh, then there's the single stack division, uh, which is entirely dedicated to the 1911 Colt design. So any gun based on the 1911 Colt is allowed. Uh, also, major and minor power factor apply, but in the major power factor, you're limited to 8 rounds per magazine. In the minor power factor, you're limited, limited to 10 rounds per magazine. Uh, the revolver division is fairly self-explanatory, except you're limited to uh, 6 rounds per cylinder. Uh, now we come to the production division. Uh, the production division is a great entry-level division uh, because it uses uh, widely... Uh, and commonly available production guns. Uh, the gun has to uh, have uh, 2,000 units made or more to qualify for the production division, so as I said, commonly available. And uh, only the minor power factor applies, major does not. Uh, in the production division, you are limited to 10 rounds per magazine, regardless of your, what your maximum magazine capacity is. And uh, only uh, small internal modifications are allowed, like you can do trigger work and that kind of stuff. Uh, everything external has to remain roughly the same, although you are allowed to change uh, grips and sights. Uh, the production division is a great place uh, for somebody to start shooting because you may already own a gun that qualifies, or you can easily go out and purchase one. And uh, that about wraps up uh, the different divisions. Uh, stay tuned. I'm going to put together some more videos on uh, what kind of gear is required, uh, what to expect at your first match, uh, so, uh, how the scoring works, and uh, some basic tips and tricks. Uh, thank you.